so I'm Thomas Barefoot, Barefoot Sound, uh, from Micromane 27s. Uh, the design is essentially a near filled with, uh, with integrated subwoofers. It's a three-way system. It translates like a near filled. So essentially, you have you know your typical near filled um, type of speaker with mid basses and tweeters. Uh, the the real difference is that the subs are are, are in the same um, system. Small, uh, lots of power. This whole concept has come out really only I, I think it's sort of been possible uh, in, in recent years because. In order to, when you build a speaker that has a sealed box, and sealed box is really the way to go because it has the best transient response. Um, but the problem is if you try to put a, a, a sealed speaker into a small box, it doesn't go very low. Uh, so the trade-off that you have in order to make it go low is either efficiency or power. And nowadays, power is almost free. Uh, you can get really high quality power, uh, for in a small space, excellent linearity. Um, so now, you know what, what you can do is you can take that, use that power, which is which is there practically free nowadays. Uh, build yourself a small box, very um, rigid, uh, excellent uh, control, and, um, uh, and and most of all, a sealed box gives you excellent transient response. Uh, then you just throw power at it and push it down and let it, and let it go really deep uh, in a small, um, near-filled size. So you have sort of the best of both worlds. You have this, uh, something that translates the same way as a near-filled, but goes deep like a, like a mastering speaker. So it it's really uh, works as, as all of them. You can have the equivalent of a mastering speaker sitting on your console. I had always been building a, a, hi-fi um, speakers for a while. Um, really only got into recording very recently and started getting on some of the internet forums uh, and just building speakers kind of in the background. And through a lot of conversations online uh, and sort of synthesizing what people were saying, uh, this sort of thing didn't really exist before. And uh, I could just sort of sense that, that people were looking for something almost like a, a, a Swiss Army knife approach to a monitor, that something that could do it all. They don't, they don't have an extra 10 grand to have these huge monitors sitting up in their you know, uh, you know, main monitors that they might only use every once in a while just to impress clients. Uh, but here, here's a near-field monitor that does everything. You know, you, it's your daily workhorse, translates perfectly, but then when your clients come in and you want to turn up the volume and it, and it just keeps going and going and going with uh, plenty of power to spare. So 500 watts in the subs, that's what, that's what I was talking about, throwing lots of power at it. 250 watts in the mid bass and 100 watts in the tweeters. Those are the mini main 12s, these are the prototypes. Not quite yet. Uh, the, original, the original speaker that I, that I designed was the mini main 12. And uh, that was the one that really sort of brought this whole concept of mixing a near field monitor with a, with a main monitor and a, and a master monitor. And uh, so now they've been redesigned to actually take some of the design technology that had developed for the Micromain 27, dual opposing subs, uh, that, that sort of thing, but just sort of taking it to the nth degree. So for, uh, for people who just want absolutely, you know, whole barred performance and uh, probably have money to spare. So. <laughs> The, uh, these are going to be uh, 1,000 watts in the subs, uh, Bryston SST amplifiers uh, driving the mid-bass, and uh, all the tweeter amplifiers I design and build. So. The, um, because you have subs on the sides, it's, uh, it's, uh, there's you know, the obvious challenge that if you want to put the speakers on their, you want to mount the speakers on their sides, that uh, you can't have the sub obviously sitting on the ground. So we, we basically um, just uh, designed these sort of legs that you can bolt onto the side of the cabinet and turn the speaker over on the side.